good Monday morning, everyone. Happy summer. We are smack dab in the middle of August, and I guess this week is going to be the hottest week of the year. So stay cool, stay hydrated, stay indoors if you can. Hey, my name's Ken Berkey, and I just want to give a review and a challenge as we walk into this very warm week of August. Last week, we looked at a family and a gentleman from the book of Genesis, Abraham, who uh, was on a journey. And it was a journey where he never quite got there yet. In fact, uh, he was his philosophy was that we are sojourners, we are aliens, we are strangers, walking through this life to a better land. Now that is what people of faith do. That we live this life fully, we live, live this life to, to take care of our neighbor and to, to love, and to forgive our enemy and to follow the teachings of Christ. But this isn't all there is. We're traveling to a destination, to a land uh, that uh, where there'll be no more pain, no more heartache, and no more sorrow. We're on a journey. And Abraham taught us some things yesterday that we can live out right now. You see, Moses said this in Psalms, I think it was Psalm 90. He said, God, just keep reminding me how short my life is so that I may live it the best way. Because we truly are in, in, in the span of, in the span of, I said spam, in the span of history, of eternity, our lives are short. And so when we know that and we are just aliens passing through, uh, we live differently. We live differently. And Abraham taught us that there's, there's four things that, that, that we need to remember. Uh, and the first one was this, to hold on to things loosely. To hold on to God tightly and to hold on to things loosely. Because when we hold on to stuff tightly, it robs us of our joy. It brings fear into our lives. Uh, it, it robs us even of our purpose because we're holding on. So Abraham taught us, hold on to God tightly and hold on to things loosely. As Abraham was a rich man, but he gave up a lot because he knew it wasn't about stuff. Not that stuff's wrong, but it's not about stuff. The second thing is that Abraham knew on this journey, on this journey where we're all not quite there yet, that God is a God of blessing. God promises as Abraham is on this journey to a land he does not know, that God says, I will bless you and I will bless those who bless you. And that he wanted Abraham to be a blessing to those around. And for those of us of faith, we are reminded. We have to be reminded every day. Remind ourselves every morning we wake up that God is, wants to bless us. But it doesn't stop there. That then God wants us to use our blessings to bless others. And I said this yesterday. And for those of you that are watching that are a part of Live 58 Church, thank you so much for being a blessing to this world, whether it's for clean water around the world, rather it's with, with supporting the Orangeville Fair Oaks Food Bank, uh, whether it's clothes for kids, supporting unhoused children and families with clothes and dignity in the Sacramento area, whether it's feeding families right over the border in the closed garbage dumps of Tijuana. Uh, the list goes on and on. And this fall, we're going to look at helping and serving some displaced refugees in the Sacramento area who have been kicked out of uh, their country because of war, uh, because of violence. Uh, and uh, we're gonna be looking at partnering with uh, some women, uh, moms and at-risk kids in, in the Folsom area. Anyway, the good part is this. We wake up every day knowing that God has blessed us, and with that, we bless others. Sojourners, travelers, when we're traveling through this world, we hold on to things lightly. We bless others as God has blessed us. The third thing is we build altars of remembrance. And I'll just say this. We just can't forget God's goodness. This week, just look back a little bit in your life, and just write down all the times God was there and God was faithful. And the fourth thing that we learned from Abraham, which gives us all hope, is that Abraham had feet of clay, meaning Abraham was not perfect. You look at the saints of the Bible, you look at people from Hebrews 11, the people of faith. These are these were the faith people, the, the hall of fame of faith people. 
whether it was Abraham or Jacob or Joseph or David. I mean, the list goes on and on. No one was perfect. They were all fallible men and women like you and I. Yet that does not disqualify us from this walk of faith that God calls us to. God calls us to follow him. He doesn't call us to perfection. That is not possible. But he calls us to follow him. And when we fall down, he will pick us back up again. So this week, as you try to stay cool, I think the biggest thing is hold on to things loosely and hold on to God tightly. For we're just passing through. Now, let me paraphrase C.S. Lewis. We're just passing through. There is an eternity waiting for us. But that doesn't discount what we do here on earth. Uh, C.S. Lewis, uh, this is a total, uh, uh, I'll, I'll change his quote, but it's the same meaning. That those who think about eternity the most, those that know that we are just aliens passing through, they're the ones that do the most here on this earth. To be a blessing to those around. To let people know. That God loves them. Hey, one last thing, and I've gone longer than normal on this Monday morning, uh, but I've had a lot of coffee, as you can tell, as you can tell. Uh, September 18th, speaking of being a blessing, we are doing a banquet. It's a Sunday morning. Uh, we're going to have a service, and then we're going to have a big, large banquet, and we're going to end it with communion. And this banquet is based on Isaiah 25, where it's talking about the messianic uh, banquet, uh, when we pass through this life and we're sitting around this table and Jesus will serve us. And it talks about fat, thick, juicy steaks and aged wine and, and just everything in the banquet is fattening and good. And we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate God's blessings. We're going to celebrate God's sacrifice. And this is a Sunday. I want to challenge all of us to think about one or two people you could invite. A neighbor, a coworker, a friend, somebody who maybe normally doesn't go to church and tell them, hey, come and join us in a celebration. And we're going to celebrate God's blessings that day, and then we're going to eat and have a feast together. And it's going to be, I think, a beautiful time of getting to know one another, but also honoring God. That's September 18th, this Sunday. We're going to start sign-ups for people to help set up and anybody who wants to get involved in the banquet. And one last thing, a week from this Friday, we are back at the Orangeville Fair Oaks Food Bank. Come and join us. Always a great time. I have gone long today. Uh, but again, the coffee has has uh, helped a little bit. But uh, again, if you missed yesterday's service, watch it online. And uh, hope to see you this next Sunday as we continue the series, looking back so that we uh, can move forward. God bless you. Have a great week. Talk to you soon.